Hey, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and you are watching a video called Modeling Socks. So you've probably been recommended that you need to model. You need to look at what the A-listers are doing, people who make millions of dollars a year, and model what they do for your business. And maybe you've gone to the same seminars as me, you've bought the Zimper products, and you've tried to make it work for you, and you haven't gotten the same results. You haven't made the million dollars. So what's up with that? Does modeling suck? Does it totally not work? Or are we just doing it the wrong way? So if you could go back in time, and you can't because I took them down, but if you go back in time and see the first sales letters I wrote, they looked very much like Allie Browns, okay, who's one of my mentors. Absolutely love her stuff. I'm going to her shine event in the fall. But what I did was I tried to model what she did in her sales letters, but it didn't work for me. It did not convert the same way as hers did. And don't be wrong, I didn't copy it, okay? I did put in my own story, but it was still her sales letter, and that's never going to work for me. And you need, you need to learn from what she teaches and all the other amazing experts and entrepreneurs out there, but I need to adapt it for myself and for my message and for my particular tribe, which is similar to what Allie does, but it's definitely not the same. There's two different kinds of modeling. One kind of modeling is modeling the technical parts of what someone is doing, the steps that they use, the method of putting together their product, the steps that they take to um, put together a launch. There's great value to be had in researching that and in seeing what people have worked for other people. The other kind of modeling is modeling how someone is being, modeling their story, modeling the way that they're doing it, modeling their target audience, modeling their message. And that doesn't Here's the thing, you have a unique message, you have unique talents, you have a reason that people need to be buying that stuff from you. There's something about what you do and the way that you do it that is different than all those A-listers and what they do. You don't need to copy their message. And you know what? It's not going to work for you, so don't even try. So instead of copying their message, what do you do? <laughs> right? Okay, that's all nice and good, but how do you actually do it? Here's the thing, the only way to find your voice is to start speaking it, okay? The only way you're gonna find your message is to start putting yourself out there, to try, to experiment. And that is how the successful business owners do it. That is how the people who are making lots of money. They try things a gazillion times and eventually it clicks. And you can't just try the thing that clicked for them because that may not be the thing that clicks for you and it definitely is not gonna click in the same way. It needs to be something that's right for your message, for your target audience, your particular tribe that may have overlaps with that their tribe, but it's not gonna be the exact same. So the modeling only works if it's congruent to you, to who you are, and to your particular message, if it makes you feel good and it, it fits in with your passion, then your target market, your clients, your customers, your tribe is going to be attracted to you. They're never going to be attracted to somebody else's stuff. They're only going to be attracted to you. The only way to do this is to test it. You have to try. You have to just run different experiments. You have to launch a whole bunch of different things before the, you figure out which thing is going to work for you. And that's what those guys did. They took years, in many cases, sometimes even a decade, to find the thing that clicks for them. Now, hopefully, it's not going to take you that long because you're doing it in a much smarter way. But it's going to take a bunch of trials before you're going to hit that thing. Bam! It's going to take you into the stratosphere. So instead of just blindly modeling, Open yourself up to being excited about the experiment and just start speaking your message. And eventually, it will click. Again, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any stories to share about modeling, what has worked for you, what hasn't worked for you, I'd love for you to leave a comment below, send me an at reply on Twitter, send me an email at elizabeth at the and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye. There's two different kinds of modeling. One kind of modeling is copying, scratch that, and you definitely don't want to just blindly copy what other people do, okay? 
There was a woman who copied what on a big A-list or did and was actually going to host an event in almost the exact same kind of event in the same city. I think it might have even the same weekend. Copied her story as if it was her story. It was kind of psychotic. And you know what happens when you do that? Okay, not only you're not going to get good results, dude, you're totally getting sued. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs>